Welcome to English in a Minute. Okay, we all know what teeth are. But I didn't know that my teeth had skin. By the skin of my teeth. It was funny running into you yesterday. Sorry, I had to rush. But I'm for a movie I want to see. Oh, do you make it to the movie on time? I made it by the skin of my teeth. Just as I sat down, the movie started. By the skin of my teeth means to narrowly or barely escape something bad. Many English expressions come from the Bible <coughs> or a Christian holy book. In the book, a character escaped an evil test. In one version, it said I escaped with the skin of my teeth. And that's English in a Welcome to English in a Minute. This expression said of if we are flying in the sky, up in the air. But does this actually mean we are flowing above the ground? So your cousin is graduating from high school. This year, has she decided on college? She hasn't decided on anything yet. All her college plans are up in the air. She doesn't even know what she wants to study. She better get hidden. If something is up in the air, it is undecided and uncertain. It can also be if only floating through the air, it is hard to know where it is going. Which is where the expression came from in the past. People just say in the air. But in the mid 19 we added up, making it up in the air. And that's English in a minute. Welcome to English in a minute. When people are bluffing, are they telling the truth? Let's listen. Call someone's bluff. Oh yeah? I have the winning hand, right? I don't believe you. I'm calling your bluff. Okay, you're right. I will have low cards. I was bluffing. You win. Calling someone bluff comes from poker, a card game. A player who is bluffing pretends to have the winning card. Well, he really doesn't. Calling someone bluff means you want a person to tell the truth about something. People bluff about serious and not so serious things. So the next time, you can call them bluff. And that's English in a minute. Welcome to English in a minute. Some expression we use in American English really sound terrible. Let's hope Anna and Jonathan are not this careless. Throw the baby out with the bath water. I have bad news. What? The boss wants to reorganize the office and change the way we're doing everything. But some things are really working really well. Why will the baby be out with the bath water? I agree. But she said we will start fresh again. To throw the baby out with the bath water means to throw something valuable away with something unwanted. Many language experts say this idiom Enter English from pour the baby out with a bag. I'm sure it really sounds just as unsettling. And that's English in a minute.